first. Uh, John, three icings at the end of that Rangers game, a couple here the other night. I wonder if you thought about no. the ID. No. You know nope. where we're going? Yep. Yeah. We're going for it. Time, circumstance, situation, magnitude of we're, it we're going for it. Yeah. Is this something you guys have talked about? Sure. Yeah. yeah. There, were, there were other plays to be made that the guys didn't see. Yeah. But we're not going to, we, we just, we're not going to go, you got to get to the red line and get it in. It usually ends up causing turnovers as far as we're concerned. So we're, if we have a good chance, um, we're going for it. You ask you guys to start straightening out their drives a little bit? Uh, <laughs> Just like see Luke put it in the net. Go back to last game uh, with uh, with Bob in that second period. That first save he makes on Kucherov. When you see him make a save like that on the bench, are you immediately like, okay, he's 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 locked in, or did it take a few for you to realize that he was kind of a different goalie from that first? No, we 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 trust Bob. I mean, <laughs> the amount of work he's done for us to to get give us this opportunity to get in. Um, it, it's not, I'm counting saves, oh, he's back. No, he pops a really good goaltender. Uh, and, and we don't have a chance of, of competing in the playoffs or getting here if, it, if we weren't on his back. So you guys see a lot about Savvy and um, his offense recently, but uh, the way he was able to sort of grind out the last I don't know, 20 seconds or so in the, uh, along the wall there, um, uh, the way that, that he plays, and it just, I don't know, seeing him have a moment like that where you, that, clock is running down. Where is he, what does he provide you guys along those lines? As a guy that, that can help you in a, in a moment like that? Well, he, he, that's his biggest strength is underneath the hash marks and defending. Now, that's a unique situation where, where we're trying to keep it on the boards. I don't think it's just savvy. Uh, Nudie's in there. We've got a number of people trying to just keep it boxed into the corner. Um, but one of Savvy's biggest strengths is uh, underneath the hash mark and defending there and just being a big body. What is it like watching the, waiting for those seconds to tick off and the puck's just kind of buried in the corner like that? What's that like watch, just watching that unfold? Yeah, I'm just hoping they keep it buried in the corner. And uh, yeah, they end up getting it out of the corner, but it hops over to the, their, their player's stick. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, all teams in those situations are going to try to do that. Uh, I, I mean, we, we just showed some clips. And I, I thought the positioning of our forwards in front of the net were good, too. Um, you know, hopefully in this series, we're in that situation again that we're leading. So we certainly go over things like that as we go through a series. Towards so your, uh, your two studs there on D, uh, Jones, 24 years old, Morensky, 21, still growing. What's, how would you describe the biggest step they've made this year with their game? Yeah, well, with Z, Pac, Z has really defended better this year. It's something that we, uh, I, I'll say I, uh, if I can, at the beginning of the year, had, had a couple of meetings right with them right away when we entered camp about that uh, uh, we felt we, we just, he was banged up the prior year with his shoulder, and uh, so I, I, I kind of left him alone, but he needed to be more competitive in the, under the hash mark and more competitive on pucks. I think he's. I think he has struck a nice balance here, as far as his strength is offense and, and joining and roving. Uh, but he needs to have the other side of the puck taken care of. He's done a really good job of that. Uh, Jonesy, I, I think one of Jonesy's biggest. Uh, uh, I what I, I want to say improvements, biggest growth, is his leadership. I, I think he's becoming a leader. Uh, he's an alternate captain for us. Um, I think he's been a little bit more vocal. He's been involved in meetings with the coaches in certain situations during the game in a leadership group. I think he's growing in that area. Uh, I think he's a perennial uh, Norris Trophy winner. He's going to get that eventually here. He's that good. Uh, not that the trophy's that important, but I think he is, if they define that trophy the proper way or they pick that defenseman the proper way, not just a defenseman that gets a lot of points, but also a defenseman that defends really well, uh, that's right in his wheelhouse. Uh, he, he's, uh, you know, those two, if we're, if we're going to play well, those two are, are a big part of our engine as far as how we get going. With his maturity in game one, the puck hops over his stick in the first goal, he scores the last goal. Yeah. Is that an example of how he's been able to, to grow? Yeah, it's a great question because I watched him. Uh, I watched him after the first goal, uh, how he handled himself. And 
Um, you know, the, the building's alive. I think we're playing pretty good up to that point. We get a power play. And maybe if we, uh, we can even double up a momentum, if we score a goal in that power play, it absolutely backfires on us. I watched how he handled himself. I watched him his next shift. Didn't bother him. You know, he, he, deep down, it, 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 he, they care. All the players care on both teams. He felt he, you know, it's a, it's a pretty big mistake early on in a series. But I, I watched how he uh, came out and played his next few shifts. Did not bother him. And that's a bit of his attitude too, Peck, is he, he is, he's kind of laid back. Uh, I, I think it gives you a little bit of a false sense of that he's not, he, not an intense player. He's a very intense player. But I think he has a really good attitude about himself and handling those type of situations. John, that's a real obvious one. Were there other moments in that game the other night where you saw growth from your team from maybe the way they would have handled an adverse situation last year or two years ago in the playoffs? Have you seen that yet? Well, I, I think in, in a game one, uh, the, the, if you want, we want to talk a team wide in a, in a general term, uh, in, in a general situation, I, I, I think we have without losing our identity, have made uh, some little adjustments in how we have to play this team. I think our team showed a tremendous amount of concentration in those situations that, that we've asked them to, uh, I don't want to use change, but just, just subtle things as far as the, the mental part of the game, what to be looking for when we play against this team. Um, I, I thought their concentration level was really good. And, and it wasn't really good for uh, you know, 25, 30 minutes, it was good pretty much mostly through the game. Uh, now, now we've we got to be careful. That game goes either way. You know, we win it and, uh, you know, all of a sudden we've done everything right. We didn't do everything right. Uh, they didn't do everything wrong. Uh, it's just funny how it all, the narrative goes when a team wins and the team loses, the, the, the day in between, how the narrative goes. Uh, different things happen in that game. Uh, we found a way to win it. Uh, we know how we have to keep on preparing. And so in, to answer your question, I, I feel really good about our team in that they stuck with it for the full 60 minutes and some of the just the subtle changes we had to make within our game. If it doesn't, I clearly want to go down 2-0, so there's going to be a lot of aspiration with them tonight. Do you prefer your team for just what, what oh, yeah. it could be like? Yeah, we, 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 we know what we're up against here. And... Uh, uh, again, the narrative starts going around in between, and it, we're going to be ready, and, and we'll say we're flatlining, and we're, we're just, you know, it's the same. You hear it from every damn team in, in, during game, between game one and game two. It's the same stuff every year. Um, yeah, and I guess we have to say it, uh, but we're playing against a really good team. We know they're going to be really good tonight, and we're going to have to be better. As the series keeps on going, we're just going to have to be better. So we're just taking it one game at a time, and trying not to get involved in the, if we lose the game, uh, we're not going to try to get involved in all the BS that comes with, oh, shit, Tampa's coming now. And, you know, we're just going to get ready for our next game. That's the only thing we can do. Thank you. Okay.